Well, time to transition from section softball to section track and field, where the Pequot Lakes Patriots are preparing to send 38 members of their team to the section meet tomorrow at Fergus Falls. As Clayton Castle tells us, the success is all due to established culture of the program. It's section finals time for Minnesota high schools, and the Pequot Lakes Patriots track and field team is looking to run its way all the way to state as per the culture of the program. We've got a kind of a culture here at Pequot with track and field. It's just some teams rebuild after a year, graduate. We've been just kind of reloading. We get kids that graduate out and we bring more back in. We've got a lot of depth. Among the rising stars of the program that Coach Gunther sings praises about is Reed Pierzynski, a junior hurdler and triple jumper. He's really going to be one of those kids that I think sets the bar high for everybody else that comes in from behind him. That gives them the opportunity, you know, gives everybody, hey, you know what, I can be there too someday. And it just it is a role model. You can't find a better athlete. Reed has had an impressive record breaking season. Uh, so I started off the season with a uh, triple jump in Bemidji and last year I was a half inch from the school record and this year I came in and broke the school record by two feet. So I was just really surprised because we trained over the winter with the cross country guys and just that out of season training I think just really helped pay off to pop that really far jump. In the end it all comes back to the culture of the Patriots track and field program. <clears throat> well I think that just people leaving their legacies. I mean, Mikey Ryan was a big person that, like a senior that I looked up to that ran, and then Tyler Tappy came in. I mean, you could just see how hard they worked at practice, and you just fed off. You wanted to go chase them at practice and just work as hard as them so you could be like them one day. Another legend is thrower Travis Jacobson, who now throws at Hamlin University and ranks in the top five in the country. He also credits the Patriots culture for his success. Well, when I came in to throw in my sophomore year, it was, uh, you know, we're kind of building, added up with, uh, you know, a couple of young athletes, and, you know, we just wanted to wanted to be great and practice a lot and, you know, just compete. Now 38 Patriots advance to participate in the section meet tomorrow at Fergus Falls High School. Reporting in Pequot Lakes, Clayton Castle, Lakeland News. Well, thanks, Clayton. And you mentioned Reed Pierzynski, and he has had a spectacular season. He has the top time in the state in class single A in the 110 and 300 hurdles. And also, he is third or fourth best jump in triple jump. Wow. So he's had a pretty good season in a couple of different events there. So he makes some noise down at the state meet, yeah, huh? Absolutely. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.